Let, let me set the scene here. Let me set the scene here. I suddenly get a message. I suddenly get a, get a message from from a friend. And then they say and then they send in their Genshin tier list and they say that they that they would like to see me make a tier list. I'm like, "Sure, sure. Why not?" Little does he know, I'm going to rate his tier list. <laughs> what we're going to do is go through the tier list from top to bottom quite literally and see see what we see what i would change see what i would change on the tier list i i, I know that he's watching right now i can i can see you i i know who you are we're going from the top and going to the bottom so that first i'll move some characters down and then move some of the characters that are down here more up this is Shenha, I think. I'm okay. I'm purely going to rate these characters by character design and what I remember from their character demos. Um, it's a good character design, but it's not. It's not the type of character that I, I really like the design of. But I do get it. I do get it. I do get why she would be up there. Would I put her all the way in S tier? No. Not all the way in S tier. I would put her... Hmm. Okay. I'm debating... I'm debating between A and B. And I don't know. Hmm. So either A or B. Like, okay, she is a 5 star... Wait, let me look. Okay, let me look if she actually has like an interesting background story or something. Uh, the daughter of an unnamed exorcist co couple, Shen ha, was taken in and raised by a cloud retainer as a discipline following a traumatic incident instigated by Shen ha's father during her childhood. Okay. Raised by cloud... Is it... Oh, oh, whoa. Did not expect that one. Did not expect a bird. Oh, wait. There... Oh! <gasps> Oh, is this like the new character? I've seen her on like YouTube shorts or something. I think, is she out? I don't think she's out yet. But I think that she will be. Wait, so are they? Okay, they're not yet. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that, that fun fact does actually make me appreciate it a bit more. J just that another character raised uh just that one character raised another one that th that moves it up for me so okay that that kind of moves it up for me because there because there's actually something special going on there so a not b not b a um uh, oh here yai Miko. okay yeah that was it that was that was her name Okay, let me read this, uh, Japanese, also known as Guji Yai, 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 uh, is a playable electro character in Genshin, a, kit a kitsune of many facets, Yai Mika oversees the Grand Narukami Shrine, owns the Yai publishing house, and is Eternity's servant and friend. Wait, is, who is Eternity? Oh, that's... Oh, that's Raiden. Oh. Huh. Um, so... I think that Shenha's character design is a little bit better. In my opinion. I think that, that Shenha's character design is a little bit better. So... I'll move her down with the one rank. Or one rank compared to Shenha. So, B. Okay, then, Yelan. Okay, so, um, Yelan. Okay, so, I, I looked, I, I saw the character demo, and I, <laughs> I got flamed in the comments. Because I said that the, okay, so I, I said that the music didn't fit her overall character, which, okay, 
based on that based on her okay based on her backstory that i've got from the character demo and that i'm going to read right now i'm going to see if my opinion changes okay so so she is a mysterious person who claims to work for the ministry of civil affairs but comes out uh, as a non-entity on their lit wait huh but comes out but comes out as a non-entity on their huh what does that mean she also claims to work for Yan Yanshang House, but only uses it for her true job and in an intelligence agent collaborating with Ningguang. Guang. Ningguang. Okay. What I've been noticing is that characters' kind of backstory are more interconnected than I thought. Okay. I get why it does fit her. Um, I get why it does. Now I get why it does, but originally, originally I didn't know that she was a gambler. That's why I said that it didn't fit her. Character design, it's the, it's actually, it's really, really, really good. I really like the character design of Yulan. Honestly, one of the best character designs, I, th I think, in my opinion. <laughs> I lost my 50-50 on Yulan and it was Diluc. That's kind of like the exact opposite. It's like the exact opposite. You wanted like a water character, uh, but instead you got one with fire powers. <laughs> like the exact opposite. I would keep her on the same tier. I would keep her on the same tier. I do like... Her character design is top tier. Okay, next up. <sighs> Nilu. Let's read her wiki. Characters. Okay, a dancer under under the Zubair Theater. Nilu's dancing is but elegant and graceful. However, outside the stage spotlight, she's uh, just like any girl. Her age warms, warm, smiling, and friendly. This, I will probably get killed. Because of this opinion, but if it means that I get killed, then so be it. She's she's just as bad as Aloy. <laughs> Honestly, I do not like her character design at all. At all. I get like the color palette, red, blue. That That's fine. But overall, how the character looks... <sighs> I'm not a f I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Nope. Nah. Nah. Is that how you pronounce it, Kachin? I I've got that wrong completely yeah, when when I reacted. Let's read this as the you ah oh, Chinese. I can't I can't read Chinese. Um, of the, the leeway again. Uh. No, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Um, she is someone who seeks her own answers instead of idly letting chaos run amok in leeway. She chooses her own path with her own power and ability instead of letting the gods determine her fate. So is she one of the... I know that she's one of the older characters. I think, if I'm right. The eyes look better in, like, the, in this art than the actual game. Okay, so the... Okay, for some reason, I can't get over the eyes. Um, so the overall outfit looks better on... Okay, so the overall outfit looks better on... In the actual game. But her face doesn't look right. There's just something about it. But her face on, on, on this art, it, it does look better. She doesn't have that interesting of a backstory or well everything that i got from this she doesn't have a much more of an interesting backstory i think again a tier it's again i again i like the character design it's just not necessarily it, it's not s tier s tier is for like the best of the best s tier is for like 10 out of 10 
always good, would get them, would empty out my wallets. Toma, four stars. <laughs> He's a, is he the first four star character on this list? I think so. Okay, I know now, okay, now I'm getting a more better view of the character design. Um, than the, than the actual demo, because in the demos a lot goes on. And I, and there's so much more to, to unpack. Uh, these plates here, uh, and on his arms, kind of remind me more of, like, the samurai, samurai, samurai type gear. Let's read this. Um, hailing from Mons, that Toma is the sociable and responsible housekeeper of the Kami Salto clan, uh, and a well-known fixer in Inazuma. Having amassed a powerful network of people, Toma defends the rights and interests of of the Yashi Yashiro Commission with utmost seriousness. So, so he's a housekeeper for the Kamisato clan, and who is in this clan? Okay, Ayato. Oh, these two. Okay, I'm um, okay. Okay, okay. Now I see. Okay, I can Ayato. Okay. Also, he's a housekeeper, which I did not expect. I, I did that, totally not expect. Um, so, hmm, where should I put him? Let's get to the tier list. Okay, hmm. I, why is he an S tier? That's what I'm wondering. He's not that special. Why is he up here an S tier? He's not, he's not that good. I can't, I can't like move them all independently. But if I could, I would put him on the top of C tier. I would put him on the top of C tier. But I don't have a choice. Just imagine that he's at the top of C tier. He's not bad. He's not bad in any way, but just a little bit boring. Candace. There's a decent nuts joke that I don't want to say, but you guys go ahead. Um, uh, the Scion of Al Amar, or is that Al Alamar? And the Guardian of Aru Village, Candace is kind to travelers who visit, but is unforgiving to those who violate the village's rules. Okay, okay. Actually, the end game. In game, it looks better. Okay, in game, it looks better. Uh, oh yeah, and the eyes, yeah, blue. Also, blue and yellow color scheme. I'm kind of biased, but I do like. Or well, this is more purple, or is it? It's more purple or blue. It's like blue-ish. I will change this. I will change this. Let's put her also in B. She's at the same level as Yaimiko. She's more at the same level. Not nece She's good, but not necessarily one that I like that much. Not one that I like that much. So what's his name here? Kamisato Ayato. Uh, he's the current head of the Kamisato clan, the older brother of Kam Kamisato Ayaka, and the ya ya I can't read. The the Yashiro commissioner, resourceful and cunning, Ayato keeps a lower profile than his sister and focuses on government affairs in the commission. Okay, so I said so I said in the character demo reaction that he that he looks like a kind of leader. Um, kind of guy like a leader of a, a city or a town. I didn't, I, when I said that, I didn't actually know that he was the head of a clan. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Okay, I do, I do like his character. I do like that it's more, that it's more of a low profile kind of guy. He's more low profile. That's that's more interesting than just. Uh, or wh how should I say it? it it's more. Hmm. Let me let me let me think on how to phrase this. Um, so many different kinds of characters. Let's just let's put it that way. 
again in the in the <laughs> i'm going to bring up this video so much but in the character demo reaction i got flamed in the comments on how on like the way that i said certain things like it sounded like i i wasn't interested but while i genuinely was i think he's bottom of a tier so i'm going to put him there again imagine like he's at the bottom of a tier bottom of a tier not the best not the best but also but also not 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 bad totally not bad although players can choose uh, the name they want to be referred by the traveler's sibling uh, refers to the traveler by their real name uh regardless of their custom name okay huh okay okay that's actually pretty interesting Th this last line is pretty interesting so they so when they talk to each other they say their real name but when but when they talk to other characters they say like traveler or like or just the custom name that's been put in maybe this mean th th i'm i'm making a theory a game theory thanks for watching no don't don't quit um so um this is just a theory and probably right and probably not a revelation um maybe that's just their real name and then th the name that you put in is just the a fake name that you, that they use in the throughout the storyline this is nothing groundbreaking. This is just my my head cannon at this exact time. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to put I'm going to rate them both. Okay. Lumine. Lumine gets to stay. Lumine gets to stay in Aether. Uh, Aether. Aether does not get to stay. He is gone. He has gone to B. He's gone to B. The I would say exact middle of B. Okay, then Hu Tao. I don't know that much about Hu Tao actually. Let me. Like I couldn't explain who they are, but I know that I like them. Uh, and okay, Hu Tao's antics and as as set as. Eccentricity, um, bellies uh, or be bellies, belly, belies her role as the 77th director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, um, and her talent as a poet. Nevertheless, she treats the parlor's operation operations with utmost importance and holds funeral ceremonies with the highest dignity and solemnity. Okay, so some characters have a diff have some kind of difference between like this card art and then the actual like, in-game art. Hu Tao st stays pretty consistent. Okay, I do want I do want to get her in game. I will probably I will probably um, try to get her when she when she releases again. <clears throat> but her character does. Also, oh yeah, no, 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 no. I was, I was going to say there wasn't a character demo, but there definitely was. Now I remember. Okay, her character design isn't that much. It, it, it isn't, it isn't anything that special. It's still nice. It's clean. It's, it's clean. It's simple and clean. I'll, I'll keep her in A tier. I, I'll keep her in A tier. Yeah, why not? She, she's, she's perfectly rated. I would say. Okay. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh. His, his art, this art looked, this art looks so good. But then the actual in-game, oh, but then the actual in-game one is kind of disappoint. Like, like here everything's moving and it's all in action and then you have him just standing there <laughs> i do like this art this is this is good art um a wandering samurai of the once famed kaede 
Kaede Hora clan, with an ability to read the sounds of nature, Kazuho is a temporary crew member of the Crux. Despite being burdened by the many happenings of his past, Kazuha still maintains an easygoing disposition. Wait, what? What? An easygoing dis? What does that mean? Disposition. What? Do, what is? What is disposition? English isn't my first language, so I need to look this up. A person's in inherent qualities of mind and character. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I get. It. Now I get. It. Okay. Huh. I, I would have expected him to be actually a pyro character. I don't know why. Or well, I do know why, because of the red color scheme, but... I want to put him at the bottom of A tier or top of B tier. Hmm. Either top of A or... Or no, not top of A. Bottom of A or top of B. Ah. Uh, let's just... Let's leave him where he is. Let's leave him where he is. But again, in your head, imagine that he's at the bottom of A. Then Raiden. Hmm. <laughs> Raiden. Uh, here. Raiden Shogun. Okay. The Raiden Shogun is comprised of two beings in one body. A, the current Electro Archon of Inazumi, and the Shogun, the puppet created by A to act as the ruler of Inazuma in her stead. Wait, what? Huh? A? Okay. A, also known as... Go ahead. Uh, name... Beelzebul... Beelzebul? I, I would have said Beelzebub, but no be Beelzebub. And as the Raiden Shogun is the God of Eternity and the current Electro Archon. Okay, so... And... The Shogun. The Shogun is an artificial body. Made by A to act as her current vessel. She is playable as the body of the Raiden Shogun. Okay, so she's two beings... Wait, two beings in one body. Wait, b but what I'm getting from this is that she's one being in two bodies. So the puppet is a being. And then A, the Electro Archon is another one. That's, I think, what they're, what this is all about. I think. And that's what I'm getting from this. Um... That's much more interesting than I would have thought. Initially, I didn't think that that her backstory was that complicated. I just thought like, uh, be because originally, um, because originally, uh, I heard from Genshin when she came out, and like a lot of people uh, got got sponsored when she came out. I just thought Mihoyo added her in because, well. Let's be honest, it's, it's pretty obvious. Um, uh, but but there's, there's, there's a good backstory from what I'm reading here. There's definitely a good backstory here. Again, it's not necessarily a character that I would go for. Wait, let me look at the character design in-game, actually. I haven't really looked at all. Again, it's the same as... What was his name? Kaede? It's the same as him. I'm thinking bottom of A or top of B. Again. Also, I'm thinking back to the character demo right now. There wasn't that much interesting going on. Okay, I'll say bottom of A. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it there. I'll keep it there. I'll keep it at the bottom of A. Just the same as the last one. Uh, so yeah. Okay, what I'm seeing here, I I am agreeing much more with the characters on A tier. On S tier, there was only one character that I actually agreed with. So yeah. Then Ningguan, I think that's her name. I don't remember Ningguan, Ningguang, Ningguan. Okay. 
Uh, the Tiang I cannot read Chinese. This is. I cannot. Um, and owner of the floating jade chamber. Wait, what is this jade chamber? Oh, that's the like that flying. I've seen that in game before. I've not gone there yet, but I've definitely seen it in the skies of Liwei. Yeah. Ningguan is a mogul who shakes the very foundations of business circles, even grabbing a few scraps from the documents she sheds from the Jade Chamber uh, will gift one an invaluable fragment of her wisdom enough to stay a step or two from one's peers. Her character design I don't like personally. Uh, I don't like her character design that much. Um, um, but, but definitely, I, I, I'm looking through this list and there's definitely a little bit less interesting characters. So, hmm, I'm not gonna put her in A. She's not A for me. She's more of a B. Like, again, middle of B. She's more middle of B. Okay, for some reason... Every time I look at Yola or Yolan, they they kind of look the same to me. Her, their character designs, and I don't know why, but my brain thinks that, that their character designs look the same, even though they don't really. Maybe it's just because of the blue color palettes, but it, but it looks almost the same to me. Okay, although a descendant of the infamous Ty tyrannical Lawrence clan, Yo Eula um, severed her ties with the clan and became the captain of the reconnaissance company with the, the with the Knights of Favonius. Oh, oh, so she's a part of the Knights of Favonius, I think. That's yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. Okay, I do like her character design. She's definitely... Yeah, she is just A tier, I think. A tier. Good, good character design. Uh, I remember from the demo. From the demo, I, I did like her demo. It was interesting. I did not expect her to be like a dancer. Because that's what her demo was all about. I didn't expect that, but I but I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining. Definitely Aether. So next up is Lisa. Was that her name? Lisa. I all I for some reason I always uh, think that Lisa's name is Mona, but it's not the other way. I never think uh, that Mona's Lisa. Just that Lisa is Mona. I even said in a short like that that sh that her name was Mona, even though it was definitely Lisa. Okay, a powerful mage re re recognized, a pro a powerful mage recognized as Sumer Academia's uh, most distinguished graduate in two hundred in two hundred years. Lisa has since returned to Mondstadt to become the humble librarian. Of the Knights of Favonius, she can be obtained for free in the Archon Clan. Okay. Either bottom of B or top of C. And I don't have any any place left um, in C, so I'll put her at the, top, at the bottom of B. She's not that... She's not that great. She's not that great. Okay, then... Who was this? Uh, who was this? I don't remember their name, but their but I remember when reacting to her character demo that she did her character design was really good. That's uh, a very very uh, interesting name that I'm not going to pronounce. <laughs> uh, the young divine priestess of Watatsumi Island and a descendant of the Sangonomiya clan. Kokomi is in charge of. Of most of Watatsumi's affairs, shouldering heavy responsibilities alone in hopes for giving Watatsumi Islands people the hopes and happiness that they desire. Okay, I do like her character design. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
you have this great art. And then that's how she looks like in game. Okay, so in general, hmm. I would keep her in A tier, but I'd say bottom of A tier again. Again, bottom a lot of the a lot of these characters are just barely good in A tier. Okay, then Yoimiya. I'll make I'll say my opinion right now before I even look her up. Definitely S tier, I would say. And if anyone uh, disagrees with me, then fair enough. Oh, whoops. Then fair enough. Fair enough. I, I know nothing about the game, so you know probably more than I do. <laughs> I've heard... From what I've heard is that she's, in general, not that good. But for new players, uh, she, she's good enough. For new players, she's good enough, but later in the game, she's not that good anymore. That's what I've heard from comments and just in general. Okay, Yoimiya is the current owner of Nagano Hara Fireworks. Um, with her colorful fireworks and outgoing personality, Yoimiya is loved by everyone on Narukami Island. She was coined as the Queen of the Summer Festival, as they believe summer is not the same without her. Yeah, in general? Yeah, okay, definitely Esther, I like her. Her character design is really interesting. Color scheme again, good. Boom. Yeah. I would say S tier. I'm currently trying to get her. Okay. S tier, nothing much else to say. I just really like her character design. Maybe a little bit too much, but that's my opinion. Okay, then. What was her name? What is her name? Uh, Let's see. Oh, here. Kujo Sara. Um, a Tengu, Sara is the adopted daughter of of the Kujo clan of the Tenri, Tenryo Commission. Uh, loyal to both her clan and the Shogun, Sara carry, carries out her orders by the Shogun's will. So, I'm expecting Raiden. Yeah, okay. It's not A tier, it's more like a B tier, I think. It's more of a B tier. She's like a little bit of like a, in in my mind, in my mind she looks like a worse version of Shenha. Like a, a little bit of a worse version of Shenha. That that that's what I think. Oh here, Beto. Okay, yeah, Beto. Um, she is the captain of the Crux, a renowned crew in Liyue. Besides her capabilities as a fleet captain and her immense strength, many in Liyue know her, know her for her lack of fear towards the Tian Kwa Shang of the Liyue. Again, um, uh, a trait that the others appreciate, appreciate yet grow irritated by. Hmm. Wait, is she an Electro character? Oh, she's Electro. Oh. Did not expect that. Again, some characters that I think look like py Pyro characters, they there's something completely different. I expected her to be Pyro, again, but she is Electro. Okay. Okay, in game, in game she looks good. She looks about the same as the general arts. I'm going... Okay, this is again a B tier, but at the top of B. I would say top of B, bottom of A. Um, also, if someone's not on the list, um, I'll ask at the end and I'll put them on there too. Zhongli, because that would have been really... I, I would have got cancelled right then and there if I didn't know his name. Um, a consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Wait, is... Oh, no, this is the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This is not Liyue. 
Okay, so why are there multiple funeral parlors? He is later revealed to be the Geo Archon Morax, who has decided to ex to experience the world from the, spec the perspective of a mortal. Yeah, I I saw a game theory uh, about him, and I I I I've seen the game theory, and he's going. He he gets some extra points for that. He gets some extra points for that. So a tier. Just A tier, good, but, but pretty good, yeah. Wait, so wait, do they work in the same? Oh, they work for the same funeral. Oh, I thought there were multiple. Oh no, they just work in the same one. Oh, okay. It doesn't change anything. He's still in A tier, but th but that's actually really really interesting. That is really really interesting. It was Xiao here. He is an adept. What is an adeptus? Uh, uh, are a group of leeway that are a group in. Oh, in. Li I thought of Li. I'm like, what? That consists of both illuminated beasts and gods. Okay. Under the name Al Alotus, Alotus, um, and the sole surviving member of the fire. Five foremost Yakshas uh, dispatched by Morax, who is Zhang Li, um, to subdue the demonic spirits that plague Li Wei. He's, he currently resides at Wang Shu Inn and mostly refrains himself from large crowds and social interest interactions. Very relatable. Definitely, definitely very relatable. Something that I'm that I am going to say in his in-game character looks younger than than this art. Why does he look younger? Um but in general hmm I think I think he's more B. He is like Kaide but just green. Or green, green, blue esque. Um, so top of B, uh, because Kaede was just barely A tier, so he's top of B. Um, but definitely not, not bad, not bad. Okay, then her. Oh wait, oh wait, I I watched her. Okay, I watched her character demo. I didn't really get a lot from it. But I really like her character design. Wait, let me... Layla. Here it is. Layla. I really like her character design. Again, I'm very biased with the blue and yellow, but I really, really like it. Uh, she is a student in... Blah, 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 uh, specializing in theoretical astrology. Um, Chronicle sleep-deprived and poor of health as a result. Layla believes that the stars' blessing is the reason she wakes from sleepwalking to find her papers fully completed. Yeah, I I really like her character design. Is she a 4 or a 3? I mean, is she a 4 or a 5 star? She's a 4 star. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Before I play before I played Genshin, I totally did not know who this was. I did not know she existed. But now that I do, I I really, really like her her character. I really like her character. So hmm. Okay. Bottom of S or top of A. Bottom of S or top of A. Let's say bottom of S. Let's say bottom of S. Then Deluc. Okay, I know who Deluc is. Come on. Come on. I know who Deluc is. I don't need to search him up. Him up. Um, I am going to move him though. Um, hmm. Just middle of B. Middle of B. Middle of B. He's not that interesting, but still... Solid character. Solid character. Okay, Al Haytham. Al Haytham is a member of the Haravata, Haravatat, Haravatat, 
of the Sumeru Academia and the Academia's scribe, responsible for docu documenting, documenting their findings and drafting or ordinances. And drafting... Wait, what are ordinances? What are... What are ordinances? Uh, a religious right or an author? an authoritative order and what does authoritative mean able to be trusted okay let me see his end game okay end game why do they show his back in this art he doesn't look that interesting like this but it, but this this looks way better and the academic scribe responsible for diamond furniture Despite his brilliance, people with the Academia are perplexed by al uh, due to his unwillingness to aspire for higher office in spite of egocentricity. Um, and many have been at odds with him for his uncompromising view on rationality and the truth. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I would say bottom of A or bottom of A or top of B. Uh I'm going to keep him in A, I think. I think I'm going to keep him in A. Yeah, sure. Okay. Then, whoever this is... Who is this? Have I even seen that character demo? They do not look... Look like I know them at all. I just... Oh, here. Kirara. Oh, Kirara. Oh, her. Okay. Yeah. Um, a yokai, uh, Kirara is the gold level courier of the Inazuma based uh, Komania Express. Her diligence is ensuring every package would be delivered to the right place has increased her company's renown and hers, making her the sole cur courier handling international deliveries. She enjoys every delivery she makes as she considers these outings for herself. I would say that she's actually exactly in the middle. She's exactly in the middle. Let's put her in B. Let's put her in B. And let's first let's first get some characters out of B. I, I already see some characters that I'm gonna get out of B. So first uh first off, she I I like her to wait, let me look at her design one more time. I do wait. What was her name? I'm saying that I that I like this character, but I don't remember the name. Um, what was it? Kuki Shinobu. I don't know why I like this design. It looks way too way too plain and boring, but I like it anyways. A former sh shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine, she is the sidekick of Artak. Oh, she is a sidekick of Ito, and deputy leader of Arataki Gang. Due to her professionalism and certifications, Kukishinobi has helped the Arataki Gang out of many problems and has even expanded expanded the gang's business scope outside of the regular mischief and delinquency. Um. She is bottom or bottom of A, but better than Kaede. I, this is one of the, the, those characters where I have an opinion and I'm like, why? Why though? And then let's put her in B. I think, hmm, is Ganyu? <sighs> hmm. I'm looking at the other characters in A tier, and I think Ganyu is in the same tier. I think Ganyu is in the same tier, yeah. And then Mona? I, I'm, I'm saying that as if I don't know who this is, but I do. Or, well, don't fully know who she is, but I really like her character design. She's like... Like, you have Mona and Lisa, and for me, Mona is the better one. <laughs> and I, I'm going to put her in S tier. I'm going to put her in S tier. She is, she, she, she does look like a good, good character. 
a fierce and strong warrior, the Flame Mane, uh, Dea is considered a legend among the Aramites for her might, passion, and con conscientiousness. Unwilling to be trapped by the conditions that force most uh, from the desert to stay there, uh, she aspires to deliver hope back to the stands that she considered her home. Again, she's top of B or bottom of A. She's not that or hmm. you know what you know what i'll put her at at a i'll put her at a i'll i'll put her right here where she belongs then child his name is easy to remember because it's literally just child um where is he then or tartaglia if you really want to be prete all pretentious. Um, he is the 11th of the 11 Fatui. Oh, he's one of those Fatui Harbingers. Okay. Wherever he goes, danger follows. And Child is always eager for a challenge. Making him extremely dangerous. But despite being the youngest member. Okay. Hmm. Or I don't know if it's again. But he, he looks plain. He looks unoffensive and doesn't do anything special. So I'd move him, him down to C. I'd move him down to C. Uh, so uh, uh, let's put him here for now. Let's put him here. Not 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 an Aloy tier and C tier. Wait, let me make that pretty obvious. Let me let me make that obvious. He's not in C. He's not in Aloy tier. He's in C tier. Okay. Okay. We're all on the same page. Okay. Perfect. Um. So then, Jean. I know Jean. Uh. Yeah. B. B. Perfect. B. Perfect. Bottom B. Top C. I would say B. Yeah. Venti. Hmm. Venti. Where would I put Venti? Would I change him? Um, let me... Wait, let me look at the characters that are at the bottom. Yeah, no, he's... Yeah, no, he's perfectly rated. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, B. B, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And then... Who was the next one? Here, Yonfei. Okay, Yonfei. Hmm. Wait, let me blow my nose again. Ah. Um, one of the few half-illuminated beasts who have not signed a contract with Rex Lapis. Who is Rex Lapis? God of Contrast. He looks like he is literally just Zhongli. He is current. He currently wanders the world disguised as Zhongli. Okay. Okay. Wait. Is he disguised as Zhongli or is he Zhongli? Also known by his go. Goetic name Morax. Okay, I thought so. I thought so. Yanfei nevertheless works for the betterment of Liyue as a premier legal advisor who values fairness. Okay. Oh yeah, she's the legal. Ad okay. In the character demo video, I I was like, well, why would anyone need a legal expert or legal advisor? I said that. Not remembering that the entire storyline of, like, Nouvellet and Farina was a thing. Because I didn't play it yet. <laughs> also, I have still not played it. But I totally forgot that that was a thing. I totally forgot. That doesn't really change my opinion. Okay, also move her down to C. Um, Nahida, I think. Okay, Nahida... She might be one of the only child characters that I actually like. Um, yeah, because because at the end of her character demo, there suddenly it got really dark, and I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know more. Um, so as Lesser Lord Kusanali. She strives to have a stronger presence in Sumeru now that she has been freed from her extensive confinement in the sanctuary of Surust. 
katana? Um, wait, does she have... Wait, I while we're here anyways, does she have... Does she have a story quest? I'm just wondering. Nahida's story quest, also known as the homecoming quest or... Uh, Sapienta or Chapter Act 2 is the second story quest related to the Dendro Archon. Okay, so that's her story quest. Okay. Oh, she has two? Oh. Then I would actually move her up from... What was it? B? I would actually move her up. She's probably going to be the only actual child character that I would... That I would move up. Ooh... Uh, or no, Bennett. Okay. Um, okay. Before I get into this, in my, in my short stream and long form video, I said that Bennett, I would never use him and that I did not like him. Uh, and then, uh, hmm. And then a lot of people told me that he's actually one of the best characters in the entire game. Can someone confirm if this is true or not? Yes? Oh. Can, can everyone just close their eyes for one second? Just one second. Can everyone just close their eyes for just a couple seconds? Okay, clo uh, keep them closed while, while you're keeping your eyes closed. Um... Okay, yeah, open them again. Yeah, yeah, yo, oh, wait, wait, that, 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 that's not supposed to be, yeah, 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 we, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend like nothing happened. Oh, Bennett is gone, oh, that's sad. Oh, no. Kaya, that was his name. Why could I not remember his name? Okay. Um, yeah, Kaya. Uh, Kaya is on the on the same level as Deluc. I would say that he's on the same level. So I'd keep him there. Yeah, I'd keep him there. Okay. That's it's it's good. It's good. Then who is this? Uh was it Kave? Yeah, it is. It's Kave. Okay, architect, uh student of uh Darshan, Dar I'm. Please forgive my pronunciation pronunciations um, of the Sumerian Academia and graduated with honors, earning the moniker Light of. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, having become in insolvent after construction of uh, the Palace of Al. <laughs> what are these names? <laughs> what are these names? Uh, he was forced to reside with Al Haytham. Uh, wait, Al Haytham. Okay, him. Yeah, okay. Um, who he has complicated relationship with, in spite of the um, illustrious facade he maintains to outsiders. Cave is often saddled with guilt uh, for his father's death, ashamed uh, of his poverty and struggling with realizing his ideals. Okay. So he's broke. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. He's broke and his father's dead. You know what? Let's just keep him there. Let's just let's give him some pity points and keep him at B. He's been through a lot. Okay, Wanderer. I saw his character demo and I was and I, I thought it was really, really interesting. The Wanderer came into existence in place of his previous incarnation. After the latter expunged his previous appellations and their respective histories from Ermin Soul. Those are a, a lot of words that I don't don't get what they mean. Um, harboring his former self's mem memories after willingly remaining regaining them, Wonder is now the only title he goes by, for he has no home, kin, or destination. Um, also, Wanderer used to be a Fatui member, and his name was uh, Scaramouche. Uh, he is a puppet, and the and the kid of wait, he's the kid of Raiden. I do like him. I do like, I like his design. Oh wait, he doesn't have a, oh he doesn't have his hat on. Okay, I like his design. 
Yeah, I like his design, I liked his character demo. Ooh, now the question is, high A or low S? I'd say, I would say A tier. I would say A tier. Okay, then all the rest in B I've already rated. Let's just quickly look through this, just to make sure that I still agree with this. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. Mostly I do, yeah. Okay, now. Um, okay, B tier, done. Now C tier. C tier, um, I already see a couple that I'm definitely going to move up. Um, so, who is this first guy? Whoa. I saw him in an ad. <laughs> That's everything I know about him. Don't necessarily know who that is. Oh, here, Sino. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, he was voiced by Sayu, the, the VTuber. As the general Mahamatra, Sino leads uh, the Matra and strikes fear into the hearts of researchers of Sumeru Academia. In spite of this, Sino has a fun side outside of his role in the Academia, um, as he has an affinity for genius incubation or invoca invocation TCG and constantly cracks unfunny jokes. <laughs> this is on the wiki. He... He makes such bad jokes that he is objectively making unfunny jokes. Yeah, I think C is a yeah C is a good one for him. Um, next up was here Tignari. Tignari is the stern chief officer of the Forest Rangers and Kalei's mentor. Despite his intelligence, he prefers to live a solitary life in the depths of. A Vigil Forest rather than uh, in the Ivory Tower of Sumeru Academia. What is Sumeru Academia? There is a lot of people in, in, in this. Is Sumeru's main governing body as well as the most prestigious institute? Okay, so it's literally just like a school. Yeah, he's top of C tier, I would say. He's on the top of C tier. Now that I am thinking about it. I No, you know what? I'll move Tignari up. And move Kaya down. Nah, Kaya deserves to be a little bit more down. Here, Yao Yao. Yao Yao. Okay, I have her. I have her in the game. Ugh, I'm not that big of a fan. Um, so hailing from a rural, rural area not far from uh, Huang Stay Village, uh, Yao Yao grew up with nature at her side. Uh, seeing potential in Yao Yao, Streetward Rambler took her in as her disciple and Yao Yao left the tranquil mountains to live with her master in the br bright and bustling Liwei Harbor. Okay, yeah, just C tier, just C tier. Then, okay, so these two, I'm already going to say that... This man here, I don't know his name out of my head, but he's going to stay and Lynette's going to move up. I like Lynette a lot more than than him. Um, okay, Linny. Linny and Lynette. So Linny is uh, Fontaine's great magician and Lynette's twin brother after their parents' death and having been saved from an abusive noble by by their father. Wait, father? Wait, this is a... This is their father? They're... 11 for 2 Harbinger? Wait, I feel like I'm skipping a lot. I, I, I'm... I'm just... Okay. Uh, Linny has undertaken missions of the House of Heart... Uh, of For the ha House of Heart... Of the Hearts. And has said that he will eventually become the successor of father. Yeah, I think C. His character design isn't that interesting. Also, why is there two cards for him? Maybe because he has a card in his hand. Haha. <laughs> but I'm cha. Anyways, C. And then Lynette. I do like Lynette a lot more. Quiet and reserved, Lynette uh, functions as a magician's assistant to her brother Linny. Um, after their parents' death and having been saved, father. 
Uh, Lynette has also served as eyes and ears for the House of the Heart. Um, I would move her up, but I don't know how much. Either B or A. B or A. I would say that these two, these two here are at, are around the same level. I would say that these two are around the same, so I'll leave them there. Then, who... Oh, this, this guy, this guy. I reacted to his demo, and I did not like him. I did not like him at all. Let's see. I got a lot of comments. Or, well, not a lot of comments, but I got, but I got some comments explaining uh, who that is. He is, I think, uh, the adopted brother of Lenny and Lynette? Fremenitz here. Okay, despite his skill and experience as a professional diver, Fremenitz prefers to stay out of the spotlight, uh, content to simply carry out orders and find peace uh, to the Tidalga and Romeritime flowers underwater. Um... Hmm. He's not that interesting. So I think C. I think C is just... C is, I think, the... I think it's perfect, yeah. Yeah, let's keep him on to there. So, next up is... Oh, this, this dude. The pirates. He had pirate music. Uh, Mika, yeah. He was one of the lowest rated characters, I remember. He was like the fifth lowest rated from all every single character, including Paimon. Um, Huffman's younger brother and the frontline surveyor of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, reconnaissance company led by Eula. Uh, oh, so he works for Eula. Okay. Mika diligently fulfills all his tasks efficiently and dreams of becoming an expert cartographer in the future. In spite of his shyness towards other people, he eventually warms up to those close to him as he values teamwork immensely and desires learning from his colleagues. Okay. Hmm. Oh, but this this art is way better than the in-game one. Yeah, yeah. in, in the in-game one, he just looks kind of sad. Here he actually looks... Here he looks better. So... You know what? I'll move him up to B. I'll move him up to up to B. Then Barbara. Uh, I'm gonna skip Barbara. I think yeah, C is good enough. Then this dude. What's his name again? Oh, come on. Uh, what's his name? Baiju. 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 The owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. And Chi-Chi's guardian, Dr. Baiju, is a master of the medicinal arts and the latest res recipient of a generational contract with a white snake name, named uh, Changsheng. Uh, he seeks to achieve immortality to ensure he is uh, the last to ever bear his contract, saving potential inheritors and even... Chang Sheng herself from the cost that comes with his with its power. Okay, so I'm guessing that oh yeah, a white snake named okay yeah. So that's the white snake. Okay, okay, that gives me more to work with. As by the pet snake, often seen right around the neck. Um, nah, nothing important. Okay. Ah uh, yeah, I think. Okay, I like his character design. I like the I like the colors that they use for him. Uh yeah, overall. Hmm. Overall I'm going to put him up to B tier. Then Fischl. Fischl is Wait, this up more up here. Fischl. Uh Fischl von Luftrolofs uh Narfidor Narfidor uh, uh, this is definitely German. This is definitely German. Uh, she's an investigator for Mondstadt's Adventurer's Guild. Oh. Oh, so she works for the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, accompanied by 
the Night Raven Oz, a dazzling adventure uh, with seemingly outlandish theories that happens to turn out to be true. She claims to hail from a world beyond Tevat. I would believe that. Uh, be uh, just because Aether and Lumine are also fr from beyond Tevat. Fischl has a JoJo reference. Oh, don't tell me. I like Jojo. No, wait. Um, 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 um. What was it? Um, Jonathan Bowes Jojo? No. <laughs> oh, but it's literally. It, it is just the exact same. It's literally the exact same. I think they're fine. From what I know. From what I've heard. I like her character design more than any other characters in C tier. I'll move her up a one spot. I'll move her up one spot. Just B. Then Rosaria, I think her name was. Wait, is it? Uh, Rosaria. Okay, I... The least devout among the, the nuns of the Church of Favonius, Rosaria prefers prefers acting in the shadows rather than participating in the activities of the church. There is one little thing that I, for some reason, can never unsee. Why are her eyes so wide apart from each other? Why are they so far apart? Oh, if they were... Oh. Honestly, the eyes break it for me. It, it was either a make or break, and the eyes, oh, the eyes deserve, with the eyes it deserves, a, she deserves a C tier. If the eyes were an appropriate length away from each other, then I would probably put it higher, like, like B or maybe even uh, S, no, not S, uh, A tier, A or B. Just for those eyes, I'm gonna keep her in C tier. Oh, here, Sucrose. Okay, yeah, I have her. Um, an alchemist specializing in bio-alchemy. -al she also uh, serves as an assistant for Albedo, the head alchemist of the Knights of Favonius. Sucrose, okay. Yes, yeah, C tier. Just, yeah, that that's perfectly rated. That's perfectly rated. Um, then Chi-Chi. Uh, I'll leave her there. Nothing much more to say, really. Who is this? I remember that the music in her character demo was really good. That's all I remember from her. Let's see. Okay, here. Rock and roll is a uh, relatively unpopular style of music and leeway, having recently been brought over from Fontaine. Uh, Shenyan, however, loves the sound. Uh, and she's softly but surely amassing a fan base of her own as she performs throughout Leeway Harbor. Huh. From found from Fontaine, I would have not expected that. I'll leave her there. Her character design isn't anything that special compared to some other characters. Um, here, Faruzon. She is a renowned professor of the Sumeru Academia, a member of the Harava. Harava. I never know how to pronounce that. Uh, she recently returned to the Academia after solving a puzzle and escaping the ruins that trapped her a century ago. Her design looks... I don't I don't want to say something like basic or plain because last video I got totally torn to shreds for saying that way too much. But I don't know, there's... I, I'm, I don't know, there's not another way to say it. Uh, yeah, just C tier. Let's keep her there. Coley. Wait, from... From this image, she looks way younger. Uh, she has appeared in the official manga and serves as one of its main characters. Wait, what? Oh, wait, there's an official Genshin manga? Wait, 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 wait. Originally an Eliazar? Uh, afflicted victim of Fatui human experimentation, Kalei wandered the world as a vagrant until she met Amber and Mondstadt, and then Kalei has turned her life around and currently serves as a trainee forest ranger in the Avid Avidja Forest. 
Um, okay, so her backstory is specifically in the manga. Okay. It's really interesting that that's in her description, like right at the top. I don't think I'll move her. But it's really interesting that she's... That her backstory is in the in the manga. You know what? I'll actually try to read it. <laughs> I'm actually really interested. Shing sh Qiu, Shu Shing Shu That that King Shing I don't know. Uh he is the second son of the guild manager of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Uh an influential group in Liyue and is also a self-proclaimed practitioner of the Guhua clan's arts. Also a, fa a an avid reader. Uh Shing Chu uh, aims to be the embodiment of chivalry like the heroes from the books he reads. However, his beliefs now this belief be be belly what is what is this word? It's I've never heard of this word uh, meaning. Uh, Balai. Fail to give a true impression of. Okay. Balai's his knack of mischief. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? He's, he's actually exactly the same as her. I already forgot her name, but she's but the the, the character design is is almost just as as usual as hers. Yeah. Um. Then Razor, I I know Razor. I know who that is. Um. I'll just should I keep him here? Mm, you know what? I'm going to put him up, and then put her down. So there is still the same amount of characters in both places, but they're better, better placed. Then Zhang Ling, I know Zhang Ling, she's just, she's there, I guess. Uh, not that big of a fan, C, probably. Then Noel, I have Noel, I like her character design. Maybe that's because I already have her and I... And I actually like to use her. But Noelle, I think, is a good character. I think I'll move her up. Should I do one or two? I'll put her up one. She's not A tier, she's B more B tier material. Uh, Klee, that, that's... Okay, Klee. The, di the daughter of the intrepid and often quite destructive adventurer Alice. Wait, Alice. 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 Klee's mother as well. Famous adventurer. Okay. Yeah, no, no, nobody that important, I think. Um, Klee takes after her mother in many ways, much to the dismay of the Knights of Favonius, whom she has been entrusted to. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Her mother is actually one of the biggest lore characters in the game. I'll keep her there. I'll keep her there. And then Ito. Why is Ito this low? Come on, man. Come on. Ito should not be this low. Um, a loud and proud descendant of the Crimson Oni. Uh, wait, what is an Oni? Oni, kind of yokai in Inazuma. Okay. Um, Ito is also the leader and founder of the Arataki Gang. Um, while not a villain, his reputation as a delinquent in Inazuma City leaves uh, something to be desired. I, I like his character design. From what I've seen from the demo, I also like his personality. So, high B, high B. Uh, then Amber, I know Amber, let's leave her there. Then whoever, uh, Chang Yun, uh, born with an excess of Yang. Oh, positive energy. Wait, so Ying and Ying and Yang has become a highly effective exorcist in Liwei. Oh, wait, uh, wait, he hasn't seen the spirit himself. I think, you know, free when he had pros. Excessive Yang energy also makes him particularly susceptible susceptible to heat and strong emotion which has led uh, to some rather unexpected results okay so um 
he was like related to one of the other characters that I've that that from before, but I don't remember which one. I think it was was it Shen Ha? Huh? Um, again, yeah, C tier. I agree with. I agree with. Then this is Diona. I think her name was Diona. Shenha is the auntie. Okay. Then Diona, I kind of agree with. Let's just keep her there. Uh, oh, Kamisoto uh, Ayaka. Okay. Uh, she is in charge of the internal and external affairs in the Kamisoto clan and is the younger sister of. Ka uh, okay, beautiful, dignified, and noble Ayaka. Has earned the title uh, and is considered a model of perfection in Inazuma. Okay. Just. Yeah. C tier. Yeah. She's not she's nothing special. Nothing that special. Who is this man? Who is whose man's is that? Uh Goro. Goro. He's a general of the Watatsumi army. Uh cour courageous and reliable. Uh his men know they can place their trust in him both on and off of the battlefield. Nothing much to really go off of. Yeah, I'll just leave him there. I, I'm not going to change anything. Then Albedo. He was at the top. That's why I remember his name. Albedo. Uh, a synthetic human made by the alchemist Rina Dot Dotter. Uh, the mysterious Albedo is... The chief alchemist and captain of the investigation team of the Knights of Favonius. Okay, again, a Knight of Favonius. There are a lot of Knights of Favonius, apart from just regular NPCs. Um, yeah, again, just Seater. For a lot of these Seater characters, there's really not much to say. Well, oh, Sheikah Noen? Okay, Sheikah Noen. Um, he is the number one ten, ten Rio commissioned detective, harboring a rivalry with the Banton Sango Detective Agency's. Wait, with the Banton Sango Detective Agency's Sango. That that made sense and also didn't make sense at the same time. Yeah, again, C tier. Again, not much to say. Okay, anyways, uh, next up, it's a child. Who is this child? Uh, with the funny hat. Or cap, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, a ninja from the Shumatsuban that is struggling with growing tall. I can see that. Sayu believes that sleeping can help help her growth, which is why she prefers to use her ninja techniques to hide and lace around. Oh yeah, that's who this was. Yeah. She... Wait, is... She's somehow connected to... Yai Miko, I think her name was. Uh, she's somehow relate or related to her. Don't know exactly how, but... That, that is... That is how it works. Uh... Yeah, let's keep her there. Then... Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Yunjin, a famous figure in Liyue Harbor's opera scene. Yunjin is the director, and uh, or uh, Yunjin is the director of the Yunhan Opera Troupe and performs at Heiyu Tea House uh, from time to time. She is also a playwright, having written all the plays uh, the Yunhan Opera Troupe. Has performed in recent years, including a new ending for the Divine Damsel of Devastation. I'll leave her where she is. I'll leave her there. Then Diona. You know what? I've seen Diona's demo and I do quite like it. I do like the idea of her and her ghost, I think. I don't know if it's a ghost or what it is, but, but I... To like how she how she fights. Wait, where is she? Or Dory? Dory? It's not Diona. It's Dory. 
from finding Dory. Um, the owner of the palace of... Oh, again. Um, and a merchant of high regard, Lord uh, Sangama Bay, is well known for her ability to obtain anything a person needs, as long as they have enough mora to afford her jaw-dropping prices. B. You gotta respect the grind. You gotta respect the grind. Uh, I already read a child, so that's everything for Cetar. Now Aloy... Uh, yeah, it's better than Nilo. Better than Nilo. Um, but yeah. Let me sc scroll through and look if we missed. Okay, wait. Charlotte's. Charlotte's we didn't do. Let's just put all the ones that I didn't yet rate on here quickly. Charlotte's C tier. Nothing really that special about her. Um, next up is... Uh, Chevru... Ch Chevrus? Is that how you say it? Yeah, about... Mm, about either C or B. But I... I can't decide. I'd put her B. I'd put her B. Farina's, Farina has a good character design. I think she... I, I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it, but, I, but I've heard that she has a really good uh, story. So, A tier? Would I put her in S tier? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe not yet. I would put her... I think after I play her... Her quest, or the quest, or the story, um, I think I will have my final opinion, and then it might move up to S tier. Um, oh, here, Navia. Okay, Navia. Navia is a good character. I would... I would also put her in A tier, just lower than Farina. I would put her in the lower A tier. Then Nouvellets. Ooh. Hot take, which is probably not the only one on this list. Nouvellet. I don't like Nouvellet's design that much. So, B tier. I'll put him in B. High B. I'll put him in high B because it's still one of the better ones. But it's not one of the uh, really, really good ones. I think... Oh, Ryoth... R How do you say it? Ryothisly? Ryothisly? I... Okay. The... De okay. I do like his design. And the character demo just sold me on his whole character. So I'll put him in S. I'll put him in S. Okay. Well, that's everything. So, yeah.